You are welcome to my channel. Today we'll be solving questions on multiplication and division of fraction. In my previous video, I explained that the first way of um, solving multiplication is to reduce the fractions to their lowest term before you now multiply your numerator, numerator, then denominator and the denominator. So let's solve. The first question says 9 over 14 multiplied by 21 over 63. We divide vertically with that we divide um, um, vertically or diagonally. Please, we don't divide horizontally. That means a denominator and the denominator. You check for a number that can go successfully or you divide diagonally like this, 21 and 14 or 9 and 63. So let's check. 9 and 14. Is there a number that can divide them successfully? 2 cannot go because 2 can divide an even number but cannot divide 9, which is an odd number. 3 cannot go into 14. So we leave that. Then we check. 21 and um, 14. Is there any number that can divide them successfully? Again, let me quickly write out, we divide using prime numbers. And the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. So let's check. Can 2 divide 14 and 21 successfully? 2 can divide 14 but cannot go into 21. So we drop 2. We check 3. Can 3 divide 14? No. 3 can only go into 15. We drop 3. So let's check 5. Can 5 go into 14? No. 5 can only divide numbers that end with 5 and 0. That's 5 or 0. So let's check 7. Can 7 go into 14? Yes. Can 7 go into 21? Yes. So we we'll use 7. 7 here, 2. 7 here, 3. 9 and 63. Yes, 63 is on the multiplication table of 9. 9 times 7 will give us 63. So 9 here, 1. 9 is 63, 7. Equal to 1 times 3 over 2 times 7. 3 all over 14. We have our final answer. Question number 2. 8 multiplied by 3 over 12. 8 multiplied by 3 all over 12. Every whole number has 1 as the denominator. So when you, now if you want to change 8 to a fraction, we write all over 1. Now let's check. Can 3 go into 12? Yes. 3 year 1, 3 year 4. What else can go? 8 and 4. Yes. 4, 8 can go, 4 can go into 12. So 4 year 1, 4 in 8, 2. So we have 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. Question number three. Number three. We have 4 over 3 divided by 20 over 27. The first step is to change our multiplication to division, our division to multiplication. So we have 4 over 3 times. And when we change to multiplication, it means this. The denominator we have to be the numerator, and the numerator we have to be the denominator. That means we will change the right hand side of the fraction to its inverse. So we have 27 all over 20. Now let us divide. Can 4 go into 20? Yes. 4 in year 1, 4 in 25. Can 3 go into 27? Yes. 3 year 1, 3 in 27, 9. Can 9, can 5 divide 9? No. So we have 1 multiplied by 9 all over 5, which is equal to 9 all over 5. Then to mix fraction, we have one whole number, one whole number, 4 all over 5. It means we can get only one 5 from 9, and we have 4 as the remainder, 4 all over 5. Now, question number 4. Question number 4. We have, we have 5 over 2 divided by 10 over 6, 16. Multiply by 3 all over 2. Now, using board mass, we know that division comes before multiplication. That means we need to solve this first. That means we need to change this to multiplication first before we continue. So we have 5 all over 2 multiplied by the inverse of this, which is 16 all over 10. Now, bring down this, multiply by 3 all over 2. So let's begin to reduce to the lowest thing. Can 5 go into 10? Yes. 5 here, 1. 5 in 10, 2. 2 here, 1. 2 in 16, 8. 2 here, 1 again. 2 in 8, 4. 
two here, one, two in four, two. So we have two times three, two times three. And our answer equals to six. Please let me come again. Here you need to be very careful when you are dividing. So you don't choke everything up. Five into 10, two. Two year one, two in 16, eight. Two year one again, two in eight, four. Two year one and two in four, two. So we have two times three. This is your final answer. So join me tomorrow as we'll be solving more questions on fraction. Here we'll be having a mixture of um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Thank you. Please share.